Hello everybody, my name is Ryan Thomas. This is my third NFL Mock Draft video. I recently just posted picks 1 through 5, and then the second video was picks 6 through 11. Now I'm posting my third video, which is picks 12 through 16. Uh, those picks will consist of at 12, the New York Giants, 13th will be the St. Louis Rams, 14th will be the Chicago Bears, 15th will be the Pittsburgh Steelers, and 16th will be the Baltimore Ravens. Starting off at number 12, the New York Giants had a very disappointing season. Uh, that's why they are picking 12th, uh, being the fact that they were a playoff team and a Super Bowl winning team a few years back. Uh, the Giants were very unsuccessful passing the ball, which is really hard to believe considering that Eli Manning, their quarterback, a two-time Super Bowl champion. They have great receivers, Victor Cruz, uh, Hakeem Nix, um, and and Reuben Randall, who is who is uh, shot up the you know uh, watchful eye. He's been a big con contributor the last few years. Um, Giants were not good last year on either side of the ball, but more importantly, their offensive line was not really able to help Eli Manning in certain situations. And Eli made bad decisions and threw almost I think 30 interceptions this year, which is just god awful. It just can't happen. Um, I think that offensive tackle is their biggest need. Uh, they've had a, the same guys on their offensive line for quite some time, and I can see the Giants going in that direction. Um, the best tackle available at this current pick, I believe, is offensive tackle Tyler Lewan from Michigan. Um, he's a big, big beast. He's got quick feet, similar to Jake Matthews, but he's not that big. Um, he's not as big as him. Um, and... But he, but he is a very good tackle, and I think that that would be a solid pick, 12th overall. Um, he's a great run blocker. He's a great pass protector. Um, more so, he's a better pass protector than he is a run blocker, so that would be even better for the Giants. They're, I think they're starting to turn to a more of a pass-happy team than they were previously when they had running back Brandon Jacobs. But David Wilson, the jury's still out on him. We might see them take a running back in the second round here, but... Uh, number 12, I think Tyler Lewan would be the best option uh, for them at offensive tackle for the New York Giants. Um, number 13, the St. Louis Rams. This is their second pick in the first round. They pick second, and I said who they'll pick second overall, uh, but I won't spoil that. I think I also want to mention, guys, if you haven't watched the first or the second video, watch them first and then watch these videos. Watch them in order. So you'll be able to understand, you know, who went where and why I have them going where they're going. Um, I put them in order for a reason, and that's why I put them in order. Uh, so do that. Um, the Rams are picking 13th, as I mentioned earlier. This is the second uh, pick that the Rams have in the first round. Two picks inside the first 15, which is pretty rare, um, basically because of the Washington Redskins are picking second. Um, but, so this is their original pick. Um, picking 13th. And I already suggested that they will help Sam Bradford in one way. Now I'm going to suggest in this pick that they're going to help Sam Bradford in an even bigger way um, by drafting yet another wide receiver. And that wide receiver is USC's Marquise Lee, who is ranked in the tops of one of the best USC receivers of all time, which is high praise given the fact that Keyshawn Johnson was a great receiver there, and he was the number one overall pick by the New York Jets back in the day. Um, they, they decide to go in that direction with Marquise Lee. They'll have Tavon Austin and Marquise Lee on the same team to help Sam Bradford, and a new other piece that I mentioned in the uh, other video. And I think that they need to finally get Sam Bradford some weapons. I mean, we're talking, he was drafted a few years back now, like 2009. They really need to get him some weapons here so he can start competing for that division. That's a tough division too. You got Seattle, you got San Francisco. Uh, very tough. Very, very tough division. Probably the toughest division in football. Um, so I see them getting Marquise Lee, who is a great uh, vertical threat. He's a great possession receiver too. He's an all-around great receiver. He's got great size. Devon Austin be the burner, the Percy Harvin type, while Marquise Lee will kind of be like the the Larry Fitzgerald type. Um, and I definitely can see that. Uh, Chicago Bears, their next pick, 14th overall pick. They had a very disappointing year. 
uh, under first-year head coach Mark Tressman. They had their eyes on the prize of winning the division. Uh, Jay Cutler gets hurt again. Josh McCown comes in. He plays very well, but their defense was just unable to show the same signs of success that it showed under Lovey Smith. They ranked among the worst in run defense for the first time in quite a while. The Bears are actually known for having a stout run defense. And I think that that will change this year with this pick. Um, I think the best defensive tackle uh, in the draft this year is from Notre Dame. and His name is Louis Nix III. Uh, I think that that will be the pick for the Chicago Bears. I think that he is a big, big defensive tackle, big run stuffer. Um, very smart, obviously. He went to Notre Dame. He knows the, what it takes to uh, show his intangibles and all that stuff. I think that uh, he is a very, very good pick for the Bears at this pick, and he would put pressure on guys like Matt Stafford, um, uh, Aaron Rodgers, and the new Vikings quarterback, which I mentioned in the first video, uh, not to give anything away. But I see Lewis Nix being the pick there at number three. Um, very, very good pass rusher. He's like the, a very uh, good Vince Wilfork type defensive tackle. Uh, the Steelers picking at 15th. They also need a bit of a readjustment in the interior of their defensive line. Uh, they were also, you know, not putting pressure on the quarterback like they are known to do. Uh, Casey Hampton is long gone. There's other guys that are kind of broken down. It seems like Pittsburgh has always had a problem with injuries and keeping players too long to their age. So that's why I have them taking a defensive tackle here. Um, I see them taking defensive tackle Aaron Donald from Pitt. Uh, so there's that Pittsburgh-Pitt connection. Uh, I think that's, that's a great pick for them. More on Aaron Donald. Um, I think that uh, it was somebody saying Doug Farrar from Sports Illustrated. Uh, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. We can go to that later. Um, but Doug Farrar from Sports Illustrated had big praise for him, um, and and I definitely can understand why he would. Um, being a great run stuffer, being a, bit, a great pass rusher in Pitt. Um, playing a few, you know, great games against highly touted competition. Uh, I think Aaron Donald will be the pick there for the Steelers, and I think he'll reinforce that Steelers' way, the Steelers' D, uh, is getting older, and they need some younger faces in that locker room and defense to uh, contribute and get them back to where they belong in the top of the NFL. Um, the Ravens, Baltimore Ravens, picking 16th. Um, they're the 16th pick in this draft, and Ravens, when the offseason last year started, uh, the Ravens made a move that I'll never understand, um, and that move most people I think can agree with was when they traded Anquan Bolden to the San Francisco 49ers to the St. Louis or to the uh, San Francisco 49ers for next to nothing. They got a sixth or seventh round pick for him. I can't even remember what it was. It was probably one of the worst trades they've ever made. Ozzie Newsom. I don't know what that was about because he's a smart he's a smart general manager, um, but that was a bad pick. That was stupid. Uh, Ironquan Bolden was a huge contributor for them in the playoffs when they won the Super Bowl. He was their best wide receiver bar none. There was no one even close. And you saw what Bolden did in San Francisco this year. He was a great complement to Kaepernick. He was like the missing ingredient that they never had. And it's like why would you give that to a team that you just beat in the Super Bowl? That it just made no sense, and it never will make sense to me. Um, Joe Flacco missed him throughout the year. Torrey Smith is not the uh, number one guy that you can really depend on. Um, I, I think that they need another wide receiver, and the best one at this point um, would be Mike Evans from Texas A&M. It was Johnny Manziel's target. Uh, he would loft the ball up to him and depend on Mike Evans to go up and catch it over some of the best corners in the, in the nation. And he would. Uh, Mike Evans was a durable wide receiver in college, and he was a he's a big wide receiver. He's working out with Hall of Famer uh, James Lofton over the off season. And if you want to be coached by a guy that knows how to jump up and get the ball, James Lofton is a huge a huge uh, success. You know, in that regard, he was he's a Hall of Fame wide receiver. Um, he's got skills. He's very young. 
Uh, I think that he could add more weight to his body. Uh, one of the things I read, he was weighed in at like 215 uh, or 220. Uh, and for his like 6'4 frame, I thought that was kind of small. Um, but if he could get like to 225, a solid 225, maybe even 230, that would be beautiful for him. Um, and I think the Ravens would, would benefit. You know, if Flacco is your quarterback, I think if anyone is going to count out Ray Rice for a second year in a row, they're practically brain dead. I don't think that'll happen again. Um, he just had a weird year. He had a lot of weird injuries that he was plagued with throughout the season. Um, but I think that uh, that will actually help Ray Rice for Joe Flacco to have another option to throw to and Mike Evans. Uh, that'll help him tremend tremendously. Um, and that's that's where I have Mike Evans going. I think it'll be a great fit. Uh, Ozzie Newsome scouts the Texas area very heavily um, and the Florida area very heavily um, when it's time. I've, I've noticed a pattern of guys going to the Ravens from Miami and Texas, um, whether it's A&M or Tech or, or UT. Um, so we will see. We will see what happens. But that's those are the picks that I have. I got Taylor Lewan from or Tyler Lewan from Michigan going to the Giants. I have uh, the Rams in their second pick in the first 15 picks. Um, they're actually in the first 13 picks, uh, getting Marquise Lee 13th overall from the University of Southern Cal. I have the Chicago Bears going with that old Bears way, getting the uh, big run stuffer and Lewis Nix the third from Notre Dame, a defensive tackle. Uh, number 15 overall, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers doing the same thing, going with their old defensive way, uh, the Steelers way, going with Aaron Donald from Pitt University, uh, the defensive tackle. And the number 16, I have Mike Evans from the Ravens, a wide receiver, Johnny Manziel's main man. Uh, I know Johnny Manziel is going to miss him um, because he, he really helped him out a lot, jumping up and getting the ball when, when Manziel would throw some poor throws. Um, but, yeah, I have a big surprise coming at number 20, so tune in for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any comments, and I'd love to talk about it. Thanks.